this is entirely unrelated to productivity but I thought I'd show you the gym that uh, me and my flatmate set up in uh, the uh, the veranda room set. That's my flatmate there. Say hello, Mark. Hello. <laughs> in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm literally just going to be covering um, to do this in Sunrise and how they work together in kind of tandem. Um, so that this should be quite an interesting video. If you're looking to embed your calendar with your task manager, um, there's a lot of apps that do this, uh, are starting to do this, like Glass Planner, um, I think it's Timely, um, and another one by Google as well, um, which are really interesting. So it's a, it's a growing market, it's something that's really interesting. But I hope you like this video and uh, we'll catch up soon. Cheers. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. What I want to cover in this episode is essentially number one, going over Sunrise and Todoist and what their kind of collaboration looks like inside Sunrise. And number two, why I think adding events, uh, a, a task to an event calendar or any calendar uh, actually is a bit overcrowded and negative. So let me just go through what the Sunrise and Todoist looks like. So um, I haven't actually, set, I've set this up a while ago, um, so it should know all my contact details. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to settings and accounts and go down to Todoist. And as you can see, it's one of the options in uh, adding accounts. So it's signing me into Todoist and now it's connecting it. Um, and what I have to do um, is I just scroll down here, check that it's signed in with that. And what I have to do is go over to the top and just simply press refresh so that it understands that you know, tasks are there and it's really cool and it knows that um, it's going to import all of those stuff. So if I'm just going to hit today um, and it should do uh, is in, it should start bringing in some of my uh, to do is tasks that I have for today. So as you can see um, over here, um, I can see my actual to do is task um, and then, you know, I have to create an autoplay and blend video there. Right. That's cool. Um, and I can see all of the tasks that I've got for the evening and specifically what time I have to do them. So for example, look, oh, so I've got um, nothing here at the moment. So what I'm going to do quickly is jump over into Todoist and assign a task. Um, so make sunrise and ooh, make, uh, sunrise and Todoist video. So this is something that um, it might be a task for me. I need to create it. So today at 1.30 p.m. and that's quite nice function I'm just going to pop it to my personal brand add it and essentially what should happen is in a few seconds it should pop up as a task inside today's uh, inside today's calendar which is great so sometimes um, if I'm not on the uh, the actual iPhone version it doesn't sync every now it, it doesn't sync too much so it syncs every two minutes which is the max you can get to it but as you can see it's just added sunrise and video as a task for that period of time so you can see all of your tasks on your calendar. This might be really great for you. You can go into your task, sorry, you can go into your sunrise calendar and actually just scroll through all of your events and then tasks that you've got for the day all in one. That might be a really fun experience for you. But what I found is that if you're doing this, um, it does over clutter your calendar. I mean, look at the gray spots on my calendar. It kind of looks like someone's attacked it with a gray event block stuff <laughs> i don't know um so it's actually overkill i think on the calendar i think that events and tasks can be, should be completely separate and as you can see on my task manager um for the next you know next seven days everything's like um, got a time to it so it feels like a timeline slash calendar anyway so if you're going to do it i recommend that you go on to do this and whenever you're doing a new task so literally um demo uh, literally today at 3 p.m. Always put a time to it. And then it's like a timeline as you go across. So I can just go, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got it at 3 today. Um, and then when it goes red, you should either be working on it or you need to actually get on with it, uh, which is quite a useful uh, concept. So that's really, really good. That's just some ideas to play around with. So, guys, I hope you found this useful. Um, let me know as soon as you start this connectivity and what your thoughts are on this, because I think it's a very taboo market. Uh, whether anyone's doing it, I think it's important that we share opinion on this because, you know, someone might think that this isn't a clouded uh, market. But what I'm going to actually do is, for my own personal preference, I'm going to actually take it off. Uh, but it's something that's out there and something that's really useful. The vendor list functionality works a lot better with it. 
Anyway, guys, I'm mumbling. Um, I hope this one was useful for you. Let me know if you've added Todoist or Vendor List to your task manager, uh, sorry, to your Sunrise. And uh, make sure to have a great week and keep productive. I'll see you guys very soon.